If you're looking for the absolute best vlogging camera that will help your YouTube or video blog for coming years, then don't forget to watch this video till the end because we will be covering all the vlogging cameras from the best budget vlogging cameras under $200 to the best vlogging cameras that will take the quality of your video to the next level. So if you want to stand out from the vlogging crowd, keep watching because we have rounded up 2021's best vlogging cameras for every budget. If you're new to this channel and haven't subscribed, you're very welcome to do that and ring the bell icon so that you should be notified for the next amazing videos. For more information about the price, I have listed the link in the description. You can check out that and be updated about the price. The Osmo Action is DJI's attempt to take on the GoPro Hero series head-on and we must say they did a brilliant job. Not only does it undercut its GoPro Hero 7 competitor in price, it also beats it in some features. It matches the GoPro Hero 7 in most technical aspects, but it has a larger longer lasting battery and a very very handy front color front screen. This provides far better functionality than the GoPro Hero 7 as you see what you are vlogging while you are filming. By most accounts, DJI's electronic image stabilization called Rock Steady is arguably just as good as a physical gimbal which really is incredible. It should be noted, however, that when the Rock Steady stabilization is on, there is a slight delay with what the Osmo Action films and what you see on the viewfinder. DJI's Osmo Action is waterproof and comes with housing and adhesive mount so you can stick it on your car or helmet to get that perfect action shot. Honestly, for under $300, there is not much to dislike about the DJI Osmo Pocket as a beginner's vlogging camera. It's supremely portable, weatherproof and still packs in 4K video. In fact, you could probably think of it as a GoPro with a big trick up its tiny sleeve. The big trick is DJI's world famous gimbal stabilization. All of the other vlogging cameras on this list will use digital stabilization, which is to say that software will do its best to make the video look more stable. The DJI Osmo Pocket, however, has a physical gimbal, just like you would see on DJI's very expensive drones, that keeps the actual camera itself steady, creating that silky smooth vloggy footage that looks so professional, not bad for something that fits into the smallest of pockets. The only real downside is that the DJI Osmo Pocket is probably best suited for shooting videos rather than taking pictures but given that the V in vlogging is for video, that should not be too much of a worry if you are just starting out. If your budget is reasonably low and you want a vlogging camera that you can take with you even if you don't have a backpack, you can't really go wrong with the DJI Osmo Pocket. Fans of Canon were very excited to see the EOS M50 their first frame into the 4K capable mirrorless market. The EOS M50 fits into Canon's range at the upper end of the mid-market, offering features that you won't find in its lesser priced models. In other words, the EOS M50 is a camera for enthusiasts in that it has plenty of features but not too many as to overwhelm you. While video image is good, we should warn you that when you film in 4K, there is a 1.6x crop. This means the sensor zoom is 1.6 times to cater for 4K stabilized footage. This is okay if you're looking for tight shots. But if you want a very wide angle on the kit 15 to 45 mm lens, you might struggle to capture everything. Overall, the EOS M50 has a solid range of features with some compromises to reach its mid range price point. However, if you are a fan of the Canon ecosystem, the EOS M50 may suit your needs very well. The DMCG85MK is mid-range vlogging contender bristling with features that hits the sweet spot between ease of use and technical capability. At the helm is a 16 megapixel micro four thirds lens with 4K 30 frames per second enabled video. If you would like super smooth 60 frames per second, however, you will need to film in 1080p. Either way, you are going to be capturing very good quality video thanks to the MFT lens that boosts fine details. Another standout feature is the 5-axis dual image stabilization which is done from the sensor 
as well as dual axis stabilization from the lens. This reduces motion blur for cleaner photos and videos, which is a key factor for vlogging when you are walking and recording yourself. Add to that its rapid 49 point autofocus system, the Lumix DMC G85 MK is a beast when it comes to getting crisp and focus footage. The camera is also weatherproof and dustproof, just don't go taking it swimming, which makes it easier to see and film even in bad weather. A feature we really liked was the post focus mode. Let's say you snap a quick shot but the autofocus did not quite focus in on the right part of the image or maybe you notice something later you did not catch when you took the photo. The Lumix will actually let you pick a new focus point after you have taken the photo. Overall, for the budget this is a pretty impressive camera. If you're looking for a mid-range vlogging camera with all the bells and whistles, definitely give the Lumix a try. The Sony ZV-1 camera packs an array of options inside a quite small body. Although it fits in your pocket, this camera is designated especially for vloggers as it has some excellent video features. The flip around screen and an impressive built-in microphone can make a vlogging start out of you. The model has 1 inch 20.1 megapixel sensor and the fast hybrid AF. Still, this camera does not have the electronic viewfinder and it's better to use it for video since it comes with the perks like background defocus, built-in natural density filter for outdoors, face priority exposure setting and the soft skin effect to soften the blemishes on your skin. The built-in lens gives you a video resolution of up to 4K in Full HD with 120 frames per second. It records a super slow motion video 820 and 240 frames per second in, in 1080p. You can control everything from the flip-out touchscreen display, the forward directional inbuilt microphone and the MI shoe enables you to capture excellent sound. However, there is no headphone jack so you won't be able to check the sound of your videos. Still, this is the perfect camera if you are doing product showcasing or showing products in your vlogs since you can switch the focus mode to look for the product fast as Parker Wallpack says which is one of the USB of this camera. Its low light performance is superior. The model also has an impressive array of serious photography controls for such a small camera. Intuitive menu system to navigate those features. You will also not be sure on connectivity as it has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC and USB 2.0 as well as the usual physical storage. It only has one SD card. The Lumix G8 is the follow-up to the widely acclaimed Lumix G7. The first thing you will notice about the Lumix GX8 is that it's built like a tank with the most magnesium alloy frame. This is definitely the sturdiest Micro Four Thirds camera out there. It offers everything you would need in a vlogging camera with 4K video, variable angle touchscreen and a slightly different retro design language. The feature that people seem to enjoy most about the Lumix GX8 is the glorious high resolution viewfinder that adds a touch of old school glamour to the photography and video process. While the Lumix G8 offers both stabilization in the lens and sensor, it can only use sensor based stabilization for video which may be a negative if you need super steady video. Overall, video quality is however amongst the best in the micro four thirds categories. Any small quibbles aside, the Lumix G8 is a star performer and very much deserving of its place in our picks for best vlogging cameras under $1000. The 90D is Canon's answer to those who are still not quite ready to hop on the Micro Four Thirds trend and want a solid DSLR that can still be used for vlogging. The Canon 90D has a larger megapixel count at 32.5 megapixel than most of its APS-C sensor competitors, which allows a lot more flexibility when it comes to cropping images and video. When you are editing, it also means glorious uncropped 4K video this means even with a basic stock Canon lens, you should get a wide enough field of view to get some decent vlogging footage at handheld distance. The only real downside to consider with the Canon 90D is that it only has a single SD card slot and it does not have in body stabilization. In saying that though, if you are in the Canon ecosystem already, 
we would absolutely recommend the Canon 90D as a great DSLR for vlogging. And that's it from our today's list. I hope you have liked it and thanks for being with us till the end of the video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon. Stay tuned and stay blessed.